Well guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. For this year's Christmas special, let's have a look at a very interesting AIO from Silverstone. One that literally lets you build a Christmas tree with it. It's called the Ice Mist series and thanks to its clever and modular design, you can stack as many custom side fans that you can fit in your case, which in return will offer you the choice of a direct airflow around the motherboard area. MSRP is around 120 bucks for the 240 variant and 10 bucks a pop for the IMF70 fans. We have the standard Silverstone livery with a great overall presentation. Let's start with the side fans, because they come with a pair of proprietary securing bolts. They fit one way and stack vertically, even more importantly they swivel but more on this later. The IO has your standard packaging philosophy. Regarding accessories I highly praise companies when they offer you the separate ARGB control module if you plan to install the AIO on older non-RGB motherboards. Then for each Intel socket you get a different backplate with individual labeled bags for the securing screws. The included 120mm fans are from the Shark 4 series and have this modular interface regarding power and illumination. Thus the cables have the exact length you need to daisy chain them on the radiator. The Ice Mist 240 at first glance looks like your regular all-in-one cooler, a slick design for the heatsink and pump with a standard aluminium rad. The rubber tubes are 460mm in length and nicely sleeved. The pump itself is rated up to 3100 RPM, has a convex contact plate, while the exiting tubes don't interfere with the wires as you would guess at first glance. Also everything is nicely labeled and marked. Now this is where the magic happens. Remove the top pump cap and you'll see where to install at least one of the securing fan bolts and how they communicate thanks to the 8 pin port and 7 on the side fans. They make a secure fit and you are free to add as many as you want that fit in your build. They will swivel up to 320 degrees and once done just attach the top cap back. Regarding installation the process is more straightforward on the AMD sockets since there are less parts to install. Thus on the AM4 the first step is to retain the stock motherboard bracket, slide opposite the tubes onto the pump the securing bracket with the bolt areas facing upwards, then attach the side L brackets alongside the metal spring loaded bolts. Considering the orientation of the side fans, make sure you install the pump with the tubes exiting on the opposite side of the RAM area, then bolt down the whole assembly. Attach the fans and custom cables, then install the radiator and bolt it down. Plug everything and regarding the illumination it's straightforward if your case has an integrated hub like mine, otherwise use the standard SATA powered remote. I used two extra IMF70 fans, one to blow onto the RAM area and one to blow onto the M.2 slot, that one that's parallel with the first PCIe slot. The regular clearance checks are all on point and the only variable are the side fans which will fit depending on your case and motherboard. You have around 53mm to play with for the first fan, as in for the RAM area, and each fan adds 16mm of thickness as you stack them. So if you need more clearance for taller RAM sticks, position the second fan above the RAM area instead of the first. So as you would expect, the eye candy will be glorious, plus you can control the side fans as you wish like any other regular ARGB fan. Ok, it's a pretty design, but does it work? Well, if you overclock your RAM and have an M.2 SSD closer to the socket area, for sure it will drop those temperatures. Even the VRM, which in turn will help a bit with a CPU like in my case. With so many parts in motion, let's see the noise test output.
So what you saw basically the pump is quiet even at max RPM which is pretty standard nowadays. The 120mm shark fans perform again as expected with good results. They are audible after 70-80% total RPM. But the more important results are the IMF 70 fans since they make this combo stand out. I'm happy to report that they are silent even at maximum RPM. So this is a great example when a company manages to implement a feature that on paper looks simple but nobody has ventured to offer it because they were worried that it will be just a gimmick. Well it seems that Silverstone did their due diligence and thus the modular system with the side swivel fans works perfectly. They are easy to install, adjust and remove, no extra wires are required and more importantly they actually help you with cooling if you use them strategically. For the more even and maximum RPM they are quiet and for those that want to take the eye candy to the next level, well they are a perfect choice. As for the Ice Mist AIO itself, it's a great platform that does its job as an AIO. So yeah, this would be a great combo to have if you plan to have an open bench system since you can stack those fans until you make a Christmas tree.